so somebody posted a question saying that the gimme mck defining the damping with modal damping doesn't give the damping matrix yeah so there's kind of like two things going on here right so there's like the gimme mck is supposed to be able to give you the mass the damping or the stiffness matrix like just from for whatever's stored in open seas it, it'll return mass damping or stiffness uh, into your interpreter and then you can like in python you know do some manipulations on those matrices um so it returns you the full mass matrix yeah yeah if you're using a full the, the full general mass. okay you need to yeah. be using the full general okay yeah. Yeah, but then modal damping, apparently, if you use modal damping and not Rayleigh damping, although he doesn't say if it works or not with Rayleigh damping, like he's saying with modal damping, it's this gimme MCK doesn't return the, the damping matrix. And I haven't really looked into this, but I think the modal damping is... Okay, so like with Rayleigh damping, right? It's like mass times something plus stiffness times something, and they just, you know, get added together. And, you know, Open Seas is storing mass and storing stiffness. So it's easy to combine those and then return them uh, through the integrator. But with modal damping, because it always produces a full, well, yeah, I haven't really looked into this but I, I suspect with modal damping it's just being computed like on the fly and it's not really being stored um so let, let me share so this is the script he posted which is just a translation of this script from the the post where i wrote something in tickle but uh So like here, it's, it's a simple like shear frame, three-story shear frame, four-story shear frame um, with zero length elements. And then what is he doing? Oh, yeah, so he does, he gets the eigenvectors because you need to get the eigenvectors in order to do modal damping. And then he's specifying modal damping ratios for four modes uh, or for all four modes. So this is mode one, mode two, mode three, mode four. I, I, I don't know why he's doing 100% damping in modes uh, one, two, and four, uh, but you know, it is what it is, right? You know, because these are percentages, right? So this is 10%. But these are 100 percent of critical right yeah yeah of critical yeah yeah but and then yeah, i don't find too much documentation on modal banking a lot of people like to use it i i'm not sure why because uh, there's a paper out and <laughs> perform well yeah. and perform says that because with Rayleigh damping you're not getting full damping on all your um I, it, somewhere in in the manual it says that you're not getting it at all modes, so you should be doing a combination of really damping and modal damping. Okay. Okay. And so that's kind of the the recommendation out there in practice. Now, I'm not sure because I don't know if a lot of people are in there, but I think that's where it started. And maybe yeah. Chopra may have written something about it. Yeah, there's some stuff. Frank and Chopra had Frank, something about yeah. it. Yeah. But I mean, because no, nobody understands damping. I think that's the yeah, or or, or un understands it in the sense of like, what should it be? What what what's your damping model? Right. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think anybody knows. Uh, but anyway, uh, so he's doing an analysis, and then here he's calling the. So he, here he's trying to get, he's extracting the mass matrix. It's like one times the mass matrix plus zero times damping plus zero times stiffness. And then here he's extracting the stiffness matrix. 
and then here he's extracting the damping matrix, like you know M, M you know A times M plus B times damping plus C times stiffness, or different C's of course, right? Uh, but uh, and then so the yeah. All right. I mean, how is he assigning? He's saying give me M C K, but does that? How does that put them into your interpreter, though? You're not saying a equals. Oh, so so this integrator, it'll it'll like form whatever combination of mass, damping, and stiffness you tell okay. it, and then you do like a fake analyze, and then the the okay. print a will return the damping matrix in this. Okay. Case, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's, so that's how, how it's you define it. it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then, uh, so here, if we say Python, what did he call it? Export. Uh, you should put some print statements along the way. Yeah. Put this into a Jupyter notebook. What happened here? Oh, here we go. Why did that take so long? Huh. Uh, anyway, so like, here's the mass matrix. That's cool. Stiffness, and then you know, then the damping is all zeros, right? So that means that he's defining C wrong. So why don't you go back to C and put numbers that are not 1.0? Or the modal damping is not. I, I think that it's not. Uh, it's like it's not explicitly storing the, the the damping matrix. So if we just made up some. But, but but what I'm saying is, could it be because he's there's an error in the way he's defining modal damping by giving one hundred percent values? Uh, it should still spit out something. Uh, okay. Yeah. So let's. I'm just gonna yeah. do a Rayleigh thing here. Yeah. So there's the so the error is in modal damping is not in the MCK command. Right. But then why? So is... now let's do something. Count now. Combine. Turn on the modal damping, and don't remove. Just yeah. Do the combination of the two. Okay. Now we run it. Okay. Why, why isn't it picking up any it's... stiffness? Uh, what do you mean stiffness? Me, well, the the damp the damping matrix was diagonal, like the oh yeah. So it's okay. So nothing's changed. Yeah. But. Do you have, to, if he's using the zero length element, shouldn't you be turning on damping because it's by default, it's off? Rayleigh. Yeah, no, there's oh, no yeah, Rayleigh right. damping by default. That's why you're not getting it. You're only getting so mass proportional. Dash do. So do Rayleigh. Minus, so it's, is it yeah. minus or no minus? Uh, yeah, it's a minus. In, in tickle it is. And then a one. No, wait, and a comma one. Comma one. Yeah, because the, the flag, so you, you're okay. actually signing a flag. Okay, let's see. Okay, yeah, now it's... Okay. Now, now it's doing it. Okay, so now turn off Rayleigh damping and just do only modal damping. But I, I bet, it, let's see. Okay, so that Rayleigh. So zero length elements don't, do modal damping though is my guess so but, then but it's all at the global oh. it's all like it's like a global thing right well, so it's done in the domain uh the rate the modal damping right but oh so modal damping is not element specific right, right. because it's not mass and stiffness proportional it's just some things so yeah um so can you put some reasonable numbers like put point oh two on each one of them. 
No, for the modal for, damping. For modal. Oh, okay. Yeah, instead of one one one, put, you know, no, 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 turn it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that like. Even just point oh five. Two, yeah. Yeah. Five point one. Five. Oops. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. And then. Yeah. Okay. See, I, th I think it's just the way uh, modal damping's done. It doesn't populate the C matrix. It just does it internally. Yeah. Let me go to GitHub here. Uh, oh. Okay, so it's done in the domain, I think, is where you'll see modal damping. Why does that one always come up first? Yeah, I want that one. Okay, uh, so modal damping. So if, yeah, if I do mass proportional damping in mm -hmm. Rayleigh, then it's okay to use zero length elements with no damping because because it just takes the mass it's it's element yeah the yeah right? it's from okay. the nodes yeah um let's see oh no it's in the Integrator, I think. Yeah, add modal damping force. So I think this is where it's doing the. Oh, wait, that's commented out. Um... Oh, here we go. Add modal damping bars. So, uh, okay. So yeah. So I bet it's not, it's just not even like forming the damping matrix at all. It's just computing the, the damping force directly. And then just adding that to the residual of the, the problem. Yeah. I see. So, so here, here's the, so, so mo modal damping, I, I, I probably have some, some terms off here, but it's basically a sum over all the modes of uh, something involving your damping ratio and the frequency. I, 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 I don't know what that is, but it's a scalar. I have to look it up, but, but you get like phi and then it's phi in the eigenvector outer product, right? And th this right here is a full matrix, right? Cause it's, you know, one eigenvector times another eigenvector. So you get like an N by N or you know, big N by big N matrix. And Frank doesn't mm -hmm. want to form that matrix, right? Okay. So then this gets multiplied by velocity, right? Velocity vector, right? Mm -hmm. So this right here for every mode, right? This is a scalar, right? Right. So then, I, and I think that's what is happening. That's what's being calculated right here. Is get getting the eigenvector times the velocity at the degrees of freedom, right? And then multiplying by whatever this craft is right here. But yeah, and then um, and then here, going back through, and you know, adding that you know th this scalar times this scalar times this vector here. 
just adding that to the resisting force or the to the unbalance or the the right hand side, which is set B. Right. So the really a, a damping matrix is never formed with modal damping. Which makes sense because yeah. it's easier to store a vector than a full symmetric yeah. matrix. Yeah, like, like you don't that. you don't want to store this basically this you know, phi in transpose or phi in times phi in transpose or, you know, the sum of all that stuff, right? Right. It's, it's all the vectors. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. a full matrix. So, okay. Yeah. yeah. So there's never a C matrix and therefore, so now even if you do the other way, then you're still not going to get it. Like somebody suggested, give me M plus C. What was the suggestion that somebody made? Yeah. Like I, I, which is weird. Why would that? Yeah, I think that he's maybe having a different issue and then thinking that it's, or suggesting it as a possible fix. But I think it's just, it's a different. He, he said get M plus C and then get M and then like subtract the two or something, right? Yeah, but why would yeah. something like, why would that fix work? I mean, why would you have to do that? I don't know. <laughs> Without any context yeah. on that, I, or, or it's it's a different thing. So yeah, it's, I, I guess the thing is, it's just, it's never forming the damping matrix and it, and it shouldn't, right? Because it doesn't exist. Yeah, you don't need it. Yeah. So let's, can we try, can you humor me and try, give me MCK with one, with a with one, one, zero? Keep this. Keep everything. Damping. Well, keep his original. Yeah, or whatever you want. Yeah, keep yeah. this one. This is better because it's less likely to have an error. So now go to C and turn yeah. on one. Put a one right there. Okay. Because we already have. Give me. Do you want all all and, ones or? No, no, no. Just no, just no, no. The, just that just that one. Yeah, yeah. Because then I can compare it to. Yeah. Go ahead and run that. And see if it gives you the same as the mass matrix or not. Yeah, it gives you yeah. the same as the mass matrix. So if you subtract one from the other, it still just gives you zero. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, so the, well, the I, other guy's suggestion is not, it's, it's a separate issue. Yeah, it's a separate yeah. issue, which I'm curious about because the Rayleigh was working and giving you C. Yeah, because we have the stiffness matrix and we, you can form the mass matrix from the Right, and the Rayleigh and also elements. forms. Yeah. Right, and Rayleigh does form the C matrix if needed. And so when we were asking for C with Rayleigh damping, we were getting it. So it's not like it's not giving it to you. Right, because it's just going in, the, the integrator is just, yeah, doing the linear combination of mass and stuff. Yeah. It's, it's not really forming C, but it's just pulling the- Right, it's giving it to you. combination of mass. Yeah, it gives it to you, but yeah, okay. it's not explicitly stored, I don't think. Okay. Pretty sure it's not. This was interesting. Very good. Yeah, it's it's all in the source code, right? I mean, 